Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brandon again, and today I'm bringing you a new Battlefield 4 video. I'm just going to be kind of talking about China Rising and this and what I think of it. I know it just came out for uh, premium members, and then it's going to come out a little while later for uh, non-premium and so on. But I am back from vacation, thank God. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Went up to Oregon, you know, for Thanksgiving. Had severe back pain, so it's always nice. And came back, did my speech, and, and for communications, got an A on it, thank God. Happy about that. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that, we're here to talk about China Rising. And so far, what I can tell you is I love this map pack. Now, I was in a game earlier, and I had a lot of people talking shit on it, which I don't know why they were, they were, our team was getting their uh, asses handed to them, and everyone was really mad, and they were saying, ah, screw this map, and everything like that. It was Dragon Valley, uh, I think it was, that's the name of the map. It's a map that resembles the map from uh, Battlefield 2, and I didn't play Battlefield 2 much, but I do remember the map, and I remember it was pretty fun. So, I love what they did with this map pack. There's only, I only really care about two of the maps, so I only care for two of the maps, that is. I mean, the other two are pretty fun to play on, but the two that I'm talking about is the Dragon Valley one and the Golian Peak, some, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. But this, this is one that I'm playing on right now, the Peaks one. And I really enjoy it. The reason being is they did a great job with these maps, and just in my opinion they did because it brings back a lot of the elements of the Bad Company 2 maps and I just love that. I love the Battlefield Bad Company 2 maps. Bad Company 2 and the original Bad Company were probably my favorite in the series. I just I just love what the game had to offer. And I also love the elements that they threw in. Now I don't remember if Battlefield 2 had the system for the bomb bomber that you can call it. I'm sorry I don't have any bomber gameplay in this so I think I can throw that in another video. I'll go ahead and do that. But if you guys remember from Battlefield 1943, they had an aerial bomber thing that when you captured a point, or I don't even think you had to have the point captured, you could just jump right into it and you could call in a group of B-17s or a group of, um, I'm not sure what the Japanese flew, it might be G5N1s that came in for the bombing or G8N1s or whatever it was. But anyway, they would come in and they would just stray from the whole, or carpet bomb I should say, carpet bomb the whole island on Battlefield 1943, so that's kind of the element that they brought in this. The bomber is a bit different in this one. I'm not sure of the bomber types in this one. I haven't looked it up yet. But the, basically what you do is you just ju jump into it. Now you don't have a third person view like you did in Battlefield 1943, but in this one you get a reti reticle view. And you fly over and you mark some targets and your thing will just drop some... I think it might be guided rockets. I'm not sure if it's precision bombs or JDAMs or anything like that. But I just know that it has like guided rocket zones where you can drop your rocket. So I think that's pretty cool. Adds a new element into the game, and it's it's pretty fun to control, just like the Battlefield 1943 ones. But like I was saying, the maps are pretty well laid out. Has the Bad Company vibes. Has the coloring, and I love I love the coloring that they did in these maps. It doesn't feel like the regular standard maps that come with the game really have the coloring that they do in these. They just have an amazing feel to them, like the murky water down there. It it, in my opinion, this map right here, the Dragon Valley one, it, it resembles the one from Battlefield 2, but it also takes the elements from, say, Battlefield Vietnam, Battlefield Bad Company Vietnam, the one with Pubai Valley. It, it just resembles that a lot, and I think it's just because of the graphics. The graphics really resemble that, like, a ton, and it's really nice, and the maps look really, really great. And there's also some gadgets that came out with it. I don't have the gadget gameplay, and... I wonder if I can grab some gameplay of that really quick and show you. I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. So I went ahead and jumped into a game really quick, and I ended up getting all this gameplay, which I was pretty happy about. Got it really quick, but anyway, I jumped into the bomber here, and I go on a little spree here. It's pretty fun. Bomber's easy to control. Just hop into it, and this is a reticle that I'm talking about. You can't really go third person, which I'm kind of sad about. I would really like to have gone third person so you could actually see the whole bomber and everything. But it has four JDAMs to it, right? And you get four different targets that you can hit with it. Like right here, I choose to hit this tank, but it sadly gets blown up before I get the chance to JDAM it. So I think you, yeah, you can see a little JDAM streaking in right here, but this is where the fun starts happening. I start locking on some of these tanks down here, I just put them down. And then if you watch carefully, you can see all these little streaks coming in. There they go. Just start pounding the damn tanks down there. 
And one comes in for good measure, and I get the kill. And then, hey, look! I end up unlocking one of the little gadgets really quick that I was going to show you guys, so... That was all a win-win. Plus, out of that thing, get a kill. Why not? And there's the gadget. But really quick, I'm going to show you the support gadget. I'm going to turn around, run over here, and I place this thing down. Now, this is the little one that's armed with an explosive on the tip, and it's really hard to control, and you can't go third person with it, which you could, which the timer is longer on it. But it's it's really hard to get kills with, and I don't know, it's not it's not among my favorite gadgets of this. I had a lot more fun with the UAV, but after this part right here, I just kind of run up here and scrape a kill. Why not? And poof, there he goes. But anyway, I'm going to jump back into another bomber here. And the thing that I like about the bombers is even though you call in your rockets, if you do get blown up, the rockets will continue to travel, which is really nice. So I remember back in the good old days of Bad Company, you'd la launch a rocket out of an RPG or something and it would just cancel it <laughs> after you got shot. Anyway, here it goes. I get blown up right here, but watch this. Rockets keep on going in and they scrape me up another kill there. So I was really happy about that. But now, we are going to hop on over, and we're going to take a look at the UAV that the recon comes with. This thing is so fun to fly. Watch this. Pop it out there. Just like you see in the movies or in real life, those little UAVs. Extraordinarily fun to fly. You can go third person with it. I love the third person in this thing. And you can go around just targeting things. I'm glad that they gave the recon another gadget like this. I think they get a MAV as well. I can't... I'm not, actually, I'm not sure if they get a MAV or not. I haven't used the MAV yet in this one. So I, I'm definitely going to be using this thing a lot more in that, if that's the case, because this thing is just a ball to fly around. See this, but it'll, it does come with a limited battery, which is okay. I'm fine with that. Pretty fun to fly, but hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hope you enjoyed everything that came with it. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. My name's Brandon. Hope you had a nice day. Boom, boom, hey, <laughs> hey Brandon, man, she don't quit. And I don't think I can handle this shit. What's my motherfucking name? Yeah, Rosa, 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 the freaky, freaky little mom. mom. <laughs> She's trying she to fuck all day. day. <laughs> and from the morning till the <laughs> evening, she be still swinging. Little mom, she <laughs> don't quit. 